All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Uh, I'm going to start off with this scripture. Um, what the heck? Salakia. Uh, having therefore these promises, okay, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Receive us. We have we have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. Okay. Now, want to go into the word wrong because that's basically the um, center of this lesson. Okay. When you go into the etymology of the word wrong. It says uh, to do wrong, wrong, wronging, that which is improper or unjust, meaning an unjust action. Okay, it says twisted, crooked, raw, crooked, crooked, raw, wrong, um, sour, bitter, literally that which distorts the mouth. Okay, to turn, it says, sense of not right, bad, immoral, unjust. And according to the scriptures, you know, when you come into the when you come into the truth, you have to apply these scriptures, you know. Um and when you apply these scriptures, um we're trying to bring in um more fruit, you know, that is meat for repentance. The people that are uh, meant to get the truth are going to get it, you know. But the people who are on the outside looking in, you know, especially um, with Great Millstone, you know, people that that um, look at Great Millstone, you know, they, they, they see that we, we get on people. You know, we're, you know, as, uh, according to what the scriptures say, you know, we, uh, we rebuke, you know, and we tell people, uh, to get right with the Lord or else they're going to, um, get, get destroyed, you know, and there is, there is no, um, there's nothing wrong or unjust or immoral and what, uh, we're, we're doing. Okay. When we go out there and we uh, teach, okay. Now, we're not when when we say to get right with the Lord, okay. That means that you need to stop committing adultery. You need to stop stealing. You need to to, to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, okay. And to teach other people uh, to do so also, okay. Um, it says wrong, thus is etymology, etym etymologically a negative of right. Okay. So I'm going to go into this scripture, Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Of God, Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. And a lot of our people out here don't have that knowledge of um, how to uh, rightfully uh, serve the Lord. It says, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay? And when you don't submit yourself unto the righteousness, what are you doing? You're doing wrong, okay? Um, a lot of our people, um, going to this word zeal, they have the zeal, okay? 
It says, um, excitement of mind, ardor, ardor, I believe. It says, fever, fever, a spirit, zeal, ardor, and embracing, pursuing, defending anything, zeal in behalf of, for a person or a thing, the fierceness of indignation, punitive zeal, and envious and contentious rivalry, uh, jealousy. Okay, <clears throat> a lot of our people, um, you know, they they go to the, these churches and stuff like that. They know they can quote scriptures and stuff, you know. But when it comes down to knowledge of who they actually are and what they actually supposed to do, you know, they 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 lack that, you know, and they go about to do their own things rather than what the Lord say, you know, um. You have uh, women who, who wants to wear uh, pants all the time, you know, especially women that, you know, claim to be in the truth and stuff like that, you know, women, women preachers and women pastors, you know, well, that's off, man. That's wrong. Okay. And, and like I said, like us here at Great Millstone, we teach, you know, we teach the law, statutes and commandments, but that's not what's going to, going to save you. You know, you have a lot of people out here that think that following them laws and the statutes and commandments are what's going to save you. It's not, you know, you have, you're, we're saved by faith and through faith, you know, we, we do the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, but we can't keep all the laws, uh, in, in this, uh, land, you know, perfectly. That's why we need a savior. And that's why one of the reasons why we're protected by grace. Okay. Um, this is Habakkuk 1 and 4. Therefore, the law is slacked and judgment doth never go forth. You know, when it comes down to the laws in the Bible, okay, you have uh, a situation where, you know, the Bible says, you know, not to eat pork, crabs, and shrimp, but um, our people love to, to eat those things. And, and they think that just because their grandmother lives to uh to to see ninety six or or whatever, and they were living off of uh pork their whole life, that you know pork is isn't a bad thing. Or or some people sit up there and they say, well, times has changed. Now you can you you can clean the the, the uh the food now better. Well, that's not what the scriptures say, man. You know. And, and, and times really didn't change, man. That's where you that's where you wrong also. Okay? It says, For the wicked does compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceedeth. Okay? And there's a lot of it's a lot of wrong judgment out here. Going to this word wrong is I I qual. Okay, it says to bend, twist, to be bent out of shape, be distorted, be crooked. And there's a lot of uh, distorted judgment out here because the judgments that's that's written in the scriptures, okay, about, you know, if you follow these laws, statutes, and commandments that you're going to uh, live, you know, or, or if you don't, that you're going to die, okay? Um, I believe it's the scripture and um, in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, um, where it talks about, you know, I'm going to try to get it, um, where it talks about because judgment is slack, you know, uh, because sentence against an evil work is not, um, executed, um, expediently, I believe that's the word that's in there, uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay? Why? Because judgment is slack right now in this society. You know, it, it, it never goes forth. Okay? Um, 
for the wicked does com compassion about the righteous. You know, the so-called white man rules this world, okay? And 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 they they're one of the reasons why people are doing the wicked stuff that they're doing now. One of the main reasons. You know? Um 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, if we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, which is a lot of hidden things of dishonesty in this, this uh, society, you know, uh, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of, of God, Yahweh deceitfully. You have a lot of people out here that, that are uh, deceiving people, you know. People think that their church pastor is leading them on to the right right way, where he's really not. You know, people think that think people thinking that they're um, servants of the Lord when they're really not. You don't even know the Lord's name. You don't even know that you're Israelite. You think that everybody can be saved? You're wrong. Okay, it says, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience. In the sight of Yahweh, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. The ones that are that are doing wrong and don't even think whether they're doing wrong or not. Okay? That 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 follow the, the distorted ways of this, this world, this the crooked ways of this world. Second Corinthians six and three. Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed. Okay, and and a lot of people look at Great Millstone because we teach the truth that's in the scriptures, man. You know, um, yeah, people are gonna gonna get cut uh, off the word, but that's not that's not our problem. If you live in wicked, you would, like let's say you're an Edomite, an Edomite ain't gonna keep the words in the the, the scriptures. You know, heck, two thirds of, of Jake ain't gonna do it. You know, but but if you been wicked, of course, if you ain't down with the, the program, if you ain't down with what the scriptures say, you gonna get destroyed, man. Whether you believe in the Bible or not, it says that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves is the ministers of Yahweh and much patience, so we have to endure uh, the ways of this world. And afflictions, and necessities, and distresses, and a lot of people, you know, they have the, the, the crooked judgment, you know, that how can these be the men of the Lord when they're poor, you know? How can these people be the, the, the men of the Lord when they when they going through, through hell? You know, when the man of the Lord be, you know, dressed in a fly suit or, or doing good, why are they bums? That's the wrong type of judgment. It says, in stripes... And imprisonments, okay, like when um, nine eleven happened, and the apostles, a great millstone went in on how on how um, Esau, the so called white man, uh, rounded them up, man, and and tried to to to, to lock them up for teaching this word. You know, a lot of people would sit up there and look at it and be like, "Oh, they're terrorists," because that's the way that this society tries to paint it. It says in tumults. And labors, you know, we, we go out um, and we, you know, week in, week out um, in the cold and in, in, in the uh, heat. And people sit up there and they call us dummies for, for doing that because we uh, trust in the Lord, you know, and do what he say. It says, and watchings and fastings by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost. By loved unfaint, by the word of truth, by the power of Yahweh, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report is deceivers and yet true. You know, because they look at us like we're devils or, you know, we're deceiving people, but we're telling the truth. 
You know, we're not out here to, to defraud anybody, to, to wrong anybody. You know, we out, we out here pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, man. Okay? Um, and, and when you look at the ways of this world and how we used to, to, to be, of course it, 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 it gets hard, you know, because somebody might, might come off at you and do some, some disrespectful stuff, you know, but, but the scriptures say that, uh, we supposed to, to help hold on to our integrity and trust in the Lord, man. And that's where, where faith comes into play, you know? And people are wrong about that too because they want you to, to go back and forth and make it a, a big drama scene and everything like that, you know? We're not out here for drama, man. If you're not down with this program, then you just, like I said, you just going to get destroyed, man. It says, uh, as un unknown and yet well known is, is dying and behold, we live, you know, because people, you know, look at us like, you know, those guys aren't going to be out there for long. You know, there's, there's, there's not too long before they, they offend somebody and they destroy, you know, or, or they get killed or, you know, they get ran off the corner. But we out there because the Lord is with us, man. It says, it's chastened and not killed. It's sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. It's poor, yet making many rich. It's having nothing and yet possessing all things. Okay, and and like is the, the, the title of the lesson, you know, receive us for we have re, we have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. Okay. And and a lot of people will look at look at us doing this work and they see us going through all these things and think that we're not the, the, the wrong. Or we're the wrong people. You know. We're distorted. We're we're the ones who's crooked. We're the one. You know, the scripture says Satan cannot cast out Satan. You know, they look at us as as, as demons for teaching the word of the, of the Lord, man. You know, for for the stuff that we go through, they look at us like we're wrong. Okay, what you going to catch out when you go, when you come into this the truth? You know, this is uh, Colossians three and twenty five. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect of persons. Okay, now I'm going to go into this word, uh, wrong. It says, absolutely to act unjustly or wickedly to sin. To be a criminal, to have violated the laws in some way. To do wrong, to do hurt. To do some wrong or sin in some respect. To wrong someone, act wickedly towards him, to hurt, damage, harm him. Okay? You have a lot of people out here, you know, who are actually um, using this word and they're actually harming people. You know? They're actually using this word in a, in a way to... to uh, to, to, to get over on uh, people like these pastors stealing money, you know, lying about it, okay? Um, sleeping with the next man's woman, you know, violating the laws that's, that was given to us, okay? Um, we can get away from this, I believe. <clears throat> um, I just had a couple more uh, precepts, you know, before I close out the lesson, okay? But the scriptures say what they say, man. You know, you got a lot of people that are offending people, okay? Doing wrong, you know, of, of the, the people that are in the truth, that, that, are, that are um doing wicked, you know? You got people that, that are not in the truth that, you know, naturally are just doing things wicked, you know. But if you in this truth and you're doing something wicked, you know, you're going to receive it for the wrong that you have done. Okay? And that's that's promise. You know, the Lord the Lord ain't playing around with when it comes down to uh, defrauding people, you know, being, being a wicked, wicked person, man. The Lord ain't playing around with that, man. Okay? Psalm... 35 and 19. 
Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. And, and you know, when you look at this society, you know, these so-called white people, which are Edomites according to the Bible, you know, they hate, they hate us without a cause. Okay? You know, and the Lord ain't going to allow them to, to continue to live in this uh, wicked, distorted type of way and to continue to, to do his people uh, wrong. You know? Hitting us without a cause because, you know, we we teaching, you know, uh, that that this place is wicked, okay, and that uh, this place is going to get destroyed due to his wickedness, okay. It says, but, but Psalms thirty eight and nineteen, but my enemies are lively and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. You know, when when you come into this truth and you uh you know you you you're gonna have a lot of people that come and get come up against you, man. You know? It can be your mother, your your uh your father, your family members, your your friends, anybody, man. You know, people on, on your job. You know, it's gonna be a lot of people that come up against you, man. You know? People that that you know, like your, your your boss, your employee, might might uh find out that you're Israelite, you teaching the truth, and you're not doing anything wrong. But the fact is that you know they over top of you, and they you know they probably fire you. Your mom, your mom um over top of you. You know uh you some brothers might be living with their mom at the point in time, and then find out that you're Israelite, and the next thing you know, you try to kick you out the house or something. You know, your father, you know, it says, Psalm 69 and 4. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Psalm 119 and 86. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully help thou me um ezekiel 22 and 29 the people of the land have used oppression and exercise robbery and have vexed the poor and needy which we are the poor and needy okay yeah they have oppressed the strength the, the stranger wrongfully and i got one more First Peter two and nineteen, for this is thankworthy if a man for conscience towards Yahweh by some Yahweh endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Okay, so we're gonna to have to, to to endure grief, you know, as long as we know that our mindset towards the Lord is is pure. Okay, is the uh the the scripture say, you know, we gotta remove all the filthiness of this flesh and spirit. And perfect our holiness in the fear of Yahweh by some Yahweh. Okay, and with that said, you know, we went off wrong according to the Lord, you know. But now we got to change our ways and do what the Lord say. Okay, is this scripture, uh, Romans 10 and, uh, you know, uh, 3 says. You know, we have to submit our ourselves to the righteousness of the Lord. Okay. Uh, and not make our own righteousness, okay? Which when you do make your own righteousness, you know you you uh you 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 you're doing wrong. You're you're that's an immoral uh thing, okay? That's not the right thing to do, okay? But that this society teaches that, and for that you know alone, this place gotta go, you know. But um, hopefully this lesson was edifying. Um, I want to say shalom till next time.